Hello student, very good morning. I am Ranjit sir. Student, today we are going to study our second lesson that is real numbers. Student, in class 9th standard, the second chapter is real numbers. Student, in this, we are going to study what is real numbers. Student, in previous classes, already you have studied so what is natural number, what is whole number, what is integers, what is rational number and then we will write what is real numbers. So then in class 9 we are going to deal with real numbers. We are going to deal with spread real numbers. But before we are going to start the chapter we are going to discuss what is natural number. Student, I want to tell you natural numbers are also called as counting numbers. And counting numbers started from 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, if you write the natural number that is 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4, comma 5, and so on. Now, student. We are talking about whole number. When you will talk about whole number, student, you will start this natural number along with 0. So 0, then 1, then 2, 3, 4, and 5, and student, so on. This is what set of whole numbers means this is what student, this is natural number, and natural number along with 0. Natural number along with 0, this will be what? Whole numbers. Now, student, integers. So, integers are of two types positive integers and negative integers. Okay, student. So, you will write integers 0, and right hand side will be positive integers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. And student in the left hand side you will get what student minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So in integers student, in integers we are getting what whole number. This is what student, this will be whole number. And along with what negative of natural number. So you may define integer is whole number along with negative of integers that will be what student set of integers now student rational number that q is the word rational number so in rational number student we will write p upon q such that ok student p upon q such that p comma belongs p comma q belongs to integers ok student p comma q belongs to integers and q is not equal to 0 q is not equal to 0 ok student so how do you define the rational number so p upon q and p and q belongs to set of integers Set of integers, student, you know very well what is set of integers? Whole number along with negative of natural number that is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. So, student, what is rational number? Rational number is of the form p upon q, and p and q belongs to integers, and provided that q is not equal to 0. Okay, student. Now, what is r? r is set of real numbers. What is R student? Set of real numbers. What is R student? R is what? Set of real numbers. Student, what is R? R is set of real numbers. Now student, when you will combine this all natural number, whole number, integers and rational number and real number, we will say that Natural number is subset of whole number. Whole number is subset of integers. And integers is subset of strength. 
rational number and rational number is subset of real numbers clear student what you will say that you will say that student natural number natural number is subset of whole number whole number is subset of integers integers is subset of rational number and rational number is subset of student real number okay students now student we are going to see order relation on rational number we are we are going to see order relation on rational number so student order relation order relation order relation on rational number on rational number okay sir rational number okay sir so we are going to find out the order relation on rational number student so if student if p upon q and r upon s if p upon q and r upon s are rational numbers are rational numbers okay student so If P upon Q and R upon S are rational number, where Q is greater than zero, Q is greater than greater than zero, and R is greater than zero. Okay, friend. If P P upon Q and R upon S are rational numbers, where Q is greater than zero and R is greater than zero. Okay, R that is Instead of R, that is S. Sorry, S is greater than zero. So you will say that student, there are three cases. In first cases, what will write P into S, P into S is equal to R into Q. Okay, student. P into S is equal to R into Q. Then you will say that. P upon Q is equal to R upon S. Okay, student. So, if P into S is equal to R into Q, then you will say that P upon Q is equal to R upon S. In second case, student. In second case, if P into S is greater than R into Q, okay. If this value is greater than what, student? R into Q. then you will say that p upon q is greater than r upon s similarly student in third case in third case if p into s is less than r into q if p into s is less than r into q then you will say that p upon q is less than r upon s clear is right so this is what order relation on rational number order relation on rational number if p upon q and r upon s are rational numbers q is greater than 0 and r is greater than 0 so in first case p into s is equal to r into q then p upon q is equal to r upon s in second case if p into s is greater than r into q then you will write p upon q is greater than r upon s in third case if p into s is less than r into q then you will say that p upon q is less than r upon s okay students so next concept or next topic we are going to deal in next video so thank you for watching my videos have a nice day